Hello, I'm Yuri Komali ma'am. In this video, I'm going to teach you nine similar reactions but different products. Actually, you see, you can see here this uh, reaction. Like this, similar reactions you will read in NCRT and when you are or in your coaching, uh, your teacher teaches you. But that time you you read it. But when it comes in examination, you will be having a confusion. What is a product? That kind of doubt you will be having. So in this uh, session, your Komalimam is going to teach you uh, those nine different reactions, similar reactions, but different products. Shall I start the session? Are you ready to learn? Yes. Now see the first question number one. Question number one. Uh, take a phenol. We have a chloroform and KOH one case and CCL4 and KOH in another case. If this is a case, your, our product is ortho, OH group is an ortho para directing group. We will be getting CHO at ortho position and CHO at para position. CHO at para position. This is ortho salicylaldehyde. This is para salicylaldehyde. But when you take CCL4 in KOH, we will be getting a two products. See those two products. One is ortho salicylic acid. Another one is para salicylic acid. Para salicylic acid. One is ortho, ortho salicylaldehyde, para salicylaldehyde, ortho salicylic acid, para salicylic acid. First reaction is rimer tamen formulation reaction. CHO group will be introduced. And see the second reaction. This is called as rimer tamen carboxylation reaction. COH group will be, uh, you know, uh, induced into the molecule. Is it clear, this one? And see the next one. When you take phenol with a chloroform, as I told you, we will be getting ortho salicylaldehyde and para salicylaldehyde. Para salicylaldehyde. And when I am telling now, I used one word. It is ortho para directing group. What is the meaning of ortho para directing group? If it is there, how the electrophile comes and attack? I'll teach you in another session. Okay. And if you take same reagent on any lane, can you guess the product? What do you think? What is the product? What do you write? Aniline with the same CHO at ortho and para position? No, your answer is wrong answer. Your product is isocyanide. False smelling compounds are formed. Those are called isocyanides. So you can observe here, here ortho salicylaldehyde, para salicylaldehyde, but here isocyanates. Keep this point in your mind. Now let me show you question number three. Uh, sorry, reaction uh, number three. Here we have salicylic acid. Salicylic acid, which is uh, if you treat with uh, acid derivatives and phenol and alcohol, what will be the product? This is like a famous reaction, very important reaction, but students confused in these three reactions. Why? Because this is their right, uh, this one. Uh, acid derivative where it goes and attack this H and Cl goes out as a HCl or this H and Cl goes out as a HCl or this H and this OH goes out or this OH and this H go where it goes and attack the uh, alcoholic group or I mean phenolic group or carboxylic acid group I am going to tell you one super technique you never uh, feel difficulty from next time trick is trick is if you are treating Acid derivative, acid or acid derivative, acid derivative, then, then you get ester, ester will be formed at OH group. If suppose, this is point number one, I will explain you. If suppose you are treating with a phenol al alcohol group, alcohol or phenol then your ester will be formed 
ester will be formed at COH. So this is acid derivative, this is acid and this is also acid both don't react with each other. Then your reaction is this H, this H and this Cl both goes out as a HCl that's it. See your product how easily you will write now. Benzene ring O, remove Cl and write the remaining group as it is. And here COOH as it is. This is 2, its name very very important. 2 ethanoil because if you give numbering from here, at the second position we will be having ethanoil group. 2 ethanoil and this is oxy. 2 ethanoil oxy. This is benzene. So benzene. And it is having one carboxylic acid group, COH group, write that. Carboxylic acid. What is the name of this? Do you know what is the name, common name of this molecule? Common name of this molecule is aspirin. Very, very important. Aspirin. What is the advantage of aspirin? Can you tell me? It is a uh, tablet. If you take it, fever, it is acts as an antipyretic and analgesic also. Okay. It reduces our body temperature as well as our body pains. Most important drug it is. Suppose if you treat with the uh, phenol, if you treat phenol with the, uh, uh, you know, uh, salicylic acid, where it goes and attack. Can you tell me now what is the trick I told you? If you are treating with a alcohol or phenol, then this is OH, this is OH. Both don't react. Now this is an acidic group, now phenol, both will react. So remove this H and remove this OH. Now write your product. Very easy. OH and here CO, OPH. This is phenyl salicylate. Can you tell me what is the name of this molecule? Phenyl salicylate this is also known as cellol can you can you repeat its name students it is also known as cellol cellol means which is used in a toothpaste and all which is having antiseptic properties see the next one same ortho salicylic acid if you treat with a methanol where the where it goes and react can you tell me where it goes and re react as I told you, if it is acid or acid derivative, then only it goes and react with OH. If it is alcoholic group, then it goes and reacts with the COH. Now, uh, this H and this OH, you, you remove it, you will be getting your product OH and here COOME. Its name is methyl salicylate. What is its name? Can you repeat? Methyl salicylate. It is also known as oil of winter green. What is the product? Another name? Oil of winter green. What is the advantage of this oil of winter green? It is used in an iodex bottle. You, you can see that green color bottle for pain relief and all. You know, we if you get any knee pain and all, uh, this green color, that bottle, if you see iodex, that uh, cream you take and you apply that ointment, then it will be reduced. These three are medicinally important uh, uh, compounds. Do you like this one? Shall I go to the next one? Let us see the next reaction. When you take phenol, treat with dilute HNO3 and take a aniline, treat with dilute HNO3. Can you tell me what are the products? In a phenol, this OH group is there, right? This OH group is an ortho para directing group. So you will be getting your products at, this is a phenol. We will be getting the products at ortho position as well as we will be getting the product at para position. Okay. Very good. Nitration you are doing, you got ortho nitrophenol and para nitrophenol. But now you do the same reaction, you don't get these two only. What do we expect? We, we expect that we have to get these two products only. See, we expect that we will be getting ortho nitroaniline and para nitroenilin but along with this too we will be getting another product also actually we expect that okay if it is para is major ortho is minor then fine but 
Apart from this, we will be getting one more product also in more amounts. That is, I am, I am going to write down here, that is metanitroaniline. What is this students tell me? Metanitroaniline. Is it clear? See, same reaction but different products. With the concentrated HNO3, with, with both same. With phenol as well as in uh, NH2, the reaction is same. You don't get any confusion. Only with the dilute HNO3, we observe this. Okay, here only ortho para, here ortho para and meta also. Now, let me explain you the next reaction. If you take phenol and treat with the concentrated H2SO4, this is called sulfonation reaction. Sulfonation reaction, it's an interesting reaction. Why? Because if you change the temperature, product formation is going to change. See, if you, if you take it to 25 degrees Celsius, your product is ortho product. But if you treat at 125 degrees Celsius at higher temperature, your product is para product. Easy. Any difficulty here? No difficulty. Very easy, right? One is ortho product at room temperature or lower temperature and para product at higher temperature. Correct? Clear? See the next reaction. This is like a super reaction. If you uh, don't observe this reaction before, uh, now you feel very, very happy of learning this. Take alkene and treat with halogen acids. When you take alkene and treat with halogen acids, uh, that double bond is there, right? When you add an, a halogen acid, it goes and attack at the double bond. Always it follows anti uh, Markovnikov rule. What is this Markovnikov rule? Negative part of the species goes and attack to the carbon having less number of hydrogens. I'll, I'll explain that. See, take alkene and you treat with HBr. Then what can be your product? How this HBr will dissociate? Can you tell me? It dissociates as H plus and Br minus. Simply to say what Markovnikov rule tells us, this negative part of the species goes and attack to the carbon having less number of hydrogens in the double bond. This H plus goes and attack more number of hydrogens. You have to break the bond. Simply add Br minus here, H plus here. So, you have to write the product. You will get the product to bromopropane. This is Markovnikov's rule. But... That, that is a product of Markovnikov's rule. But whenever you treat in the presence of peroxides, it follows anti Markovnikov's rule. What is this anti Markovnikov's rule, ma'am? The negative part of the species goes and attacks to the carbon having more number of hydrogens. So, where it goes and attack? This Br goes and attack opposite here, CH2. Here it will go and attack. H comes and attack here. One bromopropane is your answer. But here the important thing is, when you do the same peroxides, you see the same peroxides, immediately your mind tells that mark anti Markovnikov's product. Mark anti Markovnikov's product. But your answer is wrong answer. In the presence of HCl and HI, product always follows, I mean reactant always follows what? Markovnikov's rule only. So your product here is... CH3CH either chlorine or iodine comes and attack at a second position only. Anti Markovnikov's rule is only with the HBr and peroxides. That's it. You like this point? Now let us see the next reaction. Uh, when you treat with aromatic carboxylic acids, see aromatic carboxylic acid aliphatic carboxylic acid and aromatic carboxylic acids. You treat with uh, NaHCO3, sodium bicarbonate. Then we will be, it releases CO2 gas. And in the next, uh, next reaction also, if three nitro groups are there, one, two, three, three nitro groups is there, it also reacts with aqueous NaHCO3 and it releases CO2 gas. But if you take a phenol, Phenol don't react. Phenol, there will be uh, no reaction. It don't release, uh, what to say, CO2 because phenol reacts with this and whatever the car, actually these two reacts and it forms a carbonic acid as a product. It dissociates and gives CO2 and H2O. But if you, tr if you take this one, whatever that carbonic acid forms, that is a stronger acid than the phenol. 
so reaction is not possible see explanations of all these questions you know if i take the regular classes full length classes that time i'll teach you uh, this video i'm giving you the clarity what is a product what is a product what is a product now let us see the next one uh, see this question when you take phenol and treat with aqueous NaOH, then your product can, can you can you tell me what is a, what is a reaction is possible or not? Yes, reaction is possible. Phenol reacts with aqueous NaOH and we get sodium phenoxide. But whereas alcohols don't react, even though it reacts as alkoxide forms, but alkoxide is a stronger. I mean, uh, along with that water will form, that water is in uh, strong acid than the alcohol. That's why reverse reaction happens. You know, explanation I'm now telling you here. What I'm telling you is this reaction is possible. This reaction is not possible. Observe carefully similar reactions similar reactions and see the next one see the next one when you take methane and do combustion have you observed this reaction in NCRT have you observed this reaction in NCRT uh, take methane and do combustion if you heat at uh, 450 these two reactions you will observe in NCRT when you heat above 450 degrees Celsius you will be getting carbon black only carbon carbon black but when you treat when you treat in the presence of copper as a catalyst your answer is what is your answer do you know methanol is your answer what is your answer methanol is your answer but if you treat with a molybdenum oxide as a catalyst then aldehyde is your product see same reaction I mean when you are changing the catalyst different products carbon black methanol methanaldehyde clear all the nine different reactions uh, i hope uh, you got clarity my name is komali i am your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video bye love you